Hey everyone, we received some amazing feedback on one of our previous tutorials in which I demonstrated how to create a reusable dashboard template. So based on this feedback, I decided to create another tutorial which talks about creating a reusable calculation template. If you're an individual who builds a lot of dashboards and reports, then you may notice that you're spending a lot of the time recreating your calculations across different data sources. So if you have to rewrite these calculations over and over again, you may actually end up introducing discrepancies because as humans, we are prone to human error, especially when we're performing repetitive tasks or when we're trying to rush in order to complete our objectives on time. So one of the things that you can do to minimize this risk or the risk of inconsistent calculations is you can create a master workbook, which contains all of the calculations that you use frequently. And these can be date calculations, they can be parameters, string calculations, it really just depends on the steps that you take to prepare and analyze your data. So let's talk about how you're going to create and use this master template. First, you need to create a connection to a very basic data source. And this could be a simple Excel file that contains three things, a measure, a dimension, and a date. Next, you're going to create your master workbook and save it in an easy to access location. When creating your calculations inside this master template, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you also comment out your logic. Okay, so let's just take a quick look here at the calculation editor. So here I have my calculation which calculates the month to date information for the current year. And as you can see, I've also included two additional pieces of information in this comment below. Okay, so one of the things I like to include in my comments is I like to describe what the calculation is actually computing. And I also like to include a reference to any other calculated fields that are being used inside this calculation. So in this case, I'm also referencing my max date. So here I made a little note that states that reference as well. To help you stay organized, the other thing that you can do is you can actually place these calculations inside folders, okay? So you can go ahead and create a number of different folders and then include these calculations in there. So basically what's going to happen here is that anytime you create a new calculation, you're going to open up your master workbook and then you're going to save it here. Let's say I'm working on a new project and I wanna bring in some of these date calculations into a new workbook. One of the things that I can do here is I can simply highlight or select the calculations that I want to bring over. So I can either um, hold control and select multiple calculations or I can do them independently. In this case, if I wanted to bring over my month to date calculation as well as the max date, because that is one of the references that we are using inside the month to date calculation, what I can do is I can select these two calcs, I'm going to copy them, I can open up my new workbook, and then I can simply paste that information directly inside my data pane. And so as the last step in this process, all you would have to do is go in and fix the references to the undefined fields, okay? So if we open up one of these calculations, let's start with um, the months to date. If you take a look at the calculation error right here, we're basically referencing a field that does not exist in our data pane. So here we're referencing a field called date, but in our data set, we do not have a field that is called date. What we have instead is the order date. So to fix this reference, we can either replace the reference inside the calculation editor or we could simply duplicate our order date and rename it as date. Once we rename this field, then Tableau right away is going to be able to use it as a reference inside the calculation. So let's say I wanted to bring in all of my date calculations into another workbook. If I didn't want to highlight them one by one, what I can do is I can hold shift and select the very last calculation and then Tableau is going to highlight all of these calculations for me. Then I can go ahead and copy these calculations and simply paste them over into another workbook. And you can find some amazing resources of this in the Tableau public space. The first one on the list is the Tableau book of calcs. This template contains year over year percent change calculations. It contains current and prior date periods, and it's definitely a great resource if you're just starting out with calculations. Next, we have a date calculation cheat sheet which is basically a collection of 46 reusable date calculations. Make sure you guys go ahead and check those out. Thank you for watching. 
please subscribe to our channel for more tableau tutorials